What causes a stroke? Did you know that strokes are the third leading cause of death in the United States? More than 140,000 people die each year due to strokes in the US. It is also the leading cause of serious long-term disability in the States. Shocking, right? But what causes a stroke? Why is it so prevalent? The answer is as simple as this statement. The death of cells in the brain causes a stroke. But it's not all that simple. The death of brain cells is a result of a low or interrupted supply of oxygenated blood to the brain. This can be due to a number of reasons. These reasons are called risk factors, which one way or another can be referred to as causes of strokes as well. Some of the underlying risk factors of strokes are Age Age is an unavoidable risk that may lead to the development of a stroke. Anyone at any time can experience a stroke. In fact, even infants can experience it. But the risk of strokes increases with age, and the risk of a stroke doubles after the age of 55. Gender is another risk factor. According to research, strokes affect women more than men. It might be because of the risk of stroke occurrences increases with age and generally, women live longer than men. Another stat suggests that strokes kill more women than breast cancer does. There's also race and ethnicity. Race and ethnicity also contribute to developing a stroke. African Americans are at a higher risk of having a stroke because they are more susceptible to diabetes, obesity, and high blood pressure than any other ethnicity. Likewise, Asian and Pacific Islanders, as well as Hispanics, are also at a higher risk of stroke than Caucasians. Finally, family history may also increase the risk of a stroke. If someone in your family has suffered a stroke, you are at an increased risk of having one too. Other factors that may contribute to a stroke occurrence include a stroke history, binge drinking, physical inactivity, or use of drugs such as cocaine and methamphetamines. Strokes may also occur due to pre-existing medical conditions. Let's look at some of these conditions to understand what diseases may put you at a risk of developing a stroke. Number one, high blood pressure. High blood pressure is the leading cause of strokes. In general, when blood flows through the vessels, it puts pressure against their walls. If the pressure is too high, it may cause injuries in the vessels which lead to the production of clots. People who have high blood pressure are at a higher risk of having a stroke than those who have a normal blood pressure that is 120 by 80. High blood pressure can be easily controlled by following proper physical activity and healthy eating habits. Number 2. AFib AFib is atrial fibrillation. It is also a risk factor for causing a stroke is the condition of irregular heartbeats which allows blood to pool in the heart and form clots. These clots then reach the brain and blood flow is disrupted, causing a stroke. AFib is very common in people who are age 65 or above, but it can also occur at any age. People having high blood pressure, diabetes, and heart disease are at a higher risk of AFib. Treating AFib means restoring the rhythms of the heart, which can be achieved through medications or electrical stimulation. Number 3. High Cholesterol High cholesterol is a dangerous metabolic condition that causes a stroke. Cholesterol is an essential chemical compound in the body. 80% of the cholesterol we need is produced by our liver. The rest comes from the food that we eat. Too much cholesterol in our bodies can cause a deposition along the artery lining called plaque. Plaque then hinders the blood flow to the brain and causes a stroke. So get your cholesterol level checked and if it's more than 200, try controlling it through physical activity, healthy eating habits and medications. Number 4. Diabetes Diabetes can also trigger a stroke. Diabetics often have too much sugar in their blood because of the inefficiency of the pancreas. With time, this excess sugar leads to the fat deposits or the buildup of clots inside blood vessels that supply blood to the brain and neck. If you are a diabetic, you can control your diabetes by losing weight, engaging in exercise, changing eating habits, or through using medications. It is important to note that a stroke is a medical emergency. Symptoms of stroke include trouble walking, speaking, and understanding, as well as paralysis or numbness of the face, arm, or leg. If you think you know someone who is showing symptoms of a stroke, you must rush to the hospital. To understand strokes in detail and know what can be done to prevent them, sign up at Abudo's online platform. What are you waiting for? Start now!